Slowpoke, Dr. David Reisick from Scottsdale. He will be speaking on utilizing FFR and IVIS guidance, optimal management of coronary cameral fistula complicating recurrent instant restenosis. David. Hi, Cindy. Hi. I learned so much from her when I was a fellow. Okay, this is a great case, uh, and uh, it's, it's always interesting when a patient cold calls you, a patient you've never met before, cold calls you on a Saturday morning, and that's how I got involved in this. A uh, 70-year-old, healthy, active, jogger, non-diabetic male with a history of stenting approximately 10 months earlier. Um, at that time, he had had a 2.25 Everolimus stent placed in the actually about the mid-LAD at a neighboring institution in Phoenix. Uh, neither angiographic, uh, it was angiographic only guidance, not uh, IVIS. Uh, he had presented with quote unquote chest discomfort at that time. He was lost to follow up as he moved to Southern California. Uh, he uh, he uh, uh, remained on dual antiplatelet therapy the entire time. He presented to a hospital in California where uh, he was now residing with acute intense pressure inside the chest. He described this as different, more intense, worse pain than his original episode. He was admitted to a Southern California hospital on 525, 2012, some 10 months after his initial PCI. Initial attempts at balloon angioplasty of the instant lesion with a 2.5 compliant balloon at quote unquote very high pressures resulted in a perforation and free extravasation of uh, fluid. And I'll take you through. Um, this is his quote unquote instant lesion uh, at the uh, hospital in Southern California. And here is a 2.5 balloon in there. And immediately after the 2.5 balloon was dilated at high pressures, you can see a somewhat broad-based extravasation of contrast uh, out of the vessel. And remember, this is on 525. So, so they, they inflated uh, a compliant balloon just due to a residual waste, do you think? Or why would they... I'm uh, not sure what they did. I'm not sure what okay. their treatment was. Um, I got these films from the patient who walked into our hospital on a Saturday morning and handed me the films and said, I need to chat with you. So, so they did several long balloon inflations that did not seem to arrest the extravasation. So they went in at this point with a 2.5 Zion stent because they didn't have graph masters. This particular lab doesn't, uh, doesn't stock graph masters or any other covered uh, type stent. And so they used a 2.5 stent and did a long balloon inflation. This is taken after multiple long balloon inflations and that second stent was uh, placed. And you can see there's continued extravasation, broad-based extravasation of contrast out of the vessel. 